Ano is hot on his tail as the season finale of Love Hate Sunday night at half nine. Now though, it's Shortland Street. Where is the money? You sound like a cop. Is it true that you stashed it in different accounts overseas? Yes. Me? And you? are going to milk him for all he is worth. How does a special guest appearance in ED sound? Sure. Just not tomorrow. I've got a date with my beach blanket. Oh, this afternoon. I know it's late notice, but... Okay. Really? I thought you'd be a long shot back to the old treatment street. Well, I just faked the surgical bizzo. Give me the ED rush any day. So, could we tempt you for a longer stint? Like, say, forever? Why not? <laughs> and here's me thinking you couldn't stand the place. Well, I couldn't stand working with Craig, but now that's not an issue. No. So sign me up. What are we signing up for? I'll let Scotty back the news. Alice is returning to yeah, ED. Yeah, I heard. It's not a problem, is it? Stealing an experience level four from right under me. Now I'm thrilled, Scotty. I'll find a suitable replacement. Because nurses of her caliber are so easy to come by. No, but I will find one, so stop stressing. And it is what Alice wants. You go. That was quick. I'm not exactly flat out. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Looks like you are, though. Yeah, it never stops, mate. So what's your secret? I could do some business resurrection advice right now. Start over, start small, work up from there. Just like that. In 2004, I was skinned. No one would touch me. I was just out of jail. Went to Brizzy, got a job as a labourer. It was the only thing I could get. Saved my pennies for a deposit, bought the cheapest house in the worst neighbourhood going, did it up, sold it on, lather, rinse, repeat. And in just five years you're back on top? Yeah. Now looking for investors for my biggest venture yet, a resort development on Vossi Vossi. You got a biscuit or something? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Vossi Bon? Yeah, Fiji. Google it. Do yourself a favour. You make it sound easy. Dog's body on a construction site at my age, no fun at all. But I managed to squeak in on the property boom. I'm not complaining. And your little fraud conviction didn't put the investors off. I'm not sure that's any of your business. Sorry, it's just having a somewhat tarnished reputation myself. I'm looking for the silver lining here. Well then work hard, keep your nose clean and build up that trust again. It worked for me. <laughs> Get this, you have to start eating 900 more calories a day. 900? I'll be way a woman. Oh look, you've already begun. Why delay the inevitable? Now look, it's not all bad. I've found you the more the merrier. Maternity wear for multiple birth mummies. You have been busy. Well, the key to this triple threat is organisation. You just leave it all to me, OK? Except, of course, the actual gestation. And the screaming. I'm going to leave that to you. Dad, come in. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, gate crashing. What? Shouldn't you be halfway to France by now? Hi, right, Morgan. Hi. Dad. Um... Your mother and I have had a terrible fight. Oh, no. Sit down. I'll make your sandwich. No, no, no. No sandwich until I get the details. Thank you. I read her latest manuscript. Oh, right. Trouble ahead. She asked me, to be honest. She never means it. When will you learn? Truth will out. Anyway, she always knows when I'm lying. And she's gone to Burgundy alone? To coucher avec every French farmhand I can lay my hands on with her. Oh, exactly. for heaven's no, sake. I'm sorry, Morgan. That's all right. And, of course, the French couple we've house swapped with have arrived. Oh. That's why you need a place to stay for a while. Just until your mother calms down or remarries. Of course you can stay with us. Oh, you're too kind. Thanks. Oh, uh, um, the, uh... Who's pregnant? No one? No. One. no. Uh, Morgan? Yes. <laughs> oh, you sly dog! No. <laughs> no. Oh, this is marvellous. Asexual. No, bias. no, no, Dad. No, it's not mine. Well, then who's... You two are still together, aren't you? Scrambled eggs? 
No, thank you. You okay? Chris has offered me a job. Well, it's good, isn't it? And so is Ingrid, but it's central. Two great jobs, I see the problem. No, I don't want either. My plan has always been to return to Zimbabwe. Well, yeah, there are very few medical supplies and no equipment to speak of. Okay, they need you back there, I get it. And is there somebody special waiting for you at home? I just want to get back so I can help out. Oh, that's very noble, but if you go back now, you'll just be a good surgeon, right? I suppose so. But after Chris or Ingrid have finished with you, you'll be super surgeon and you can swoop home and clean up. I understand that logic. Look, making yourself a better doctor is not being selfish. You should think about it, okay? Stars and their secret scars. Ooh. <laughs> I know, I've seen enough of that at work, thanks. Next. <laughs> yeah, does she look so? Maya. What? Over my shoulder. It's rude. Sorry. No, I am. I didn't mean to snap. That's why you turn your departments, isn't it? What? No. You're sick of me. I just missed ED, that's all. Is surgery not challenging enough for you? It's not that. Are you struggling with parts of it? Because if you are, tell me and I'll talk you through them. No, it's all fine. I've learned a lot. It's just time for a change. And it's not because we're spending too much time together because I can roster us apart. It's not. <laughs> Craig's gone now, and he was the reason I moved out. So I just drop it. <laughs> that is some resort. And just two million plus for a piece of it. You interested? Yeah, just farming the bank to Rob first. Mm. I'll drive the getaway car. Why bother? I'm sure dear old daddy would set you up on a new Vossy Vossy Island you want. Stretch a white beach, a nice cocktail in your hand, that'd make you happy, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh, come on, you've got to be at least a little bit proud of him. He goes from labourer to millionaire, not once, but twice. Yeah, I guess. Why well, you still don't believe him? Look at the website. Oh, I'm sure he's a millionaire. I'm just not sure he ever lost it all, like he says. So, the whole labourer story? Just a story. I mean, come on, all of this in just five years? Well, there was a property boom and some people did make a lot of money fast. Are you sure he's not legit? That's the thing. That's someone I can never be sure about. Look, if you can't keep a woman happy in the bedroom, she'll make herself happy somewhere else. Morgan wasn't unfaithful. Oh, so this is an immaculate conception, is it? Uh, no, we'd broken up long before this happened. But why didn't you tell us? Because I knew how you two felt about her and I didn't want you to feel... Feel what? D disappointed in me. Again. <sighs> We've never been disappointed in you, Gerald, ever. Oh, what about the asexual thing? It's not exactly something any parent ever, wants to do. Gerald. So, um, who is the father? Uh, oh, um, well, he's not on the scene. So I'm going to stick by Morgan. I'm going to give her all the help she needs. <laughs> you see? How could we be disappointed with a son who does something as selfless as that? You don't mind? <laughs> mind? Well, what I... Did. It makes me something of a grandfather by association, doesn't it, if Morgan doesn't mind? Well, how could she? <laughs> this baby's going to be very lucky having you in its life. It's like I said, I don't think you can just do it. So you think she's going back to ED to pull away from me? It's just... I think it's all getting too much for her. I thought so. I just needed to hear it from someone else. <laughs> Look... I could be wrong too. Alice has been a good friend for both of us in the past. It's a huge secret to carry. For any friend. Not a sister. Look, do you want me to cancel my Wellington trip? I mean, it is bad timing. No, no, it's great training for you. You'll come back a post-grad theatre nurse, not to be messed with. <laughs> okay. But ring me any time. Keep a close eye on Alice. She's not going to sell me out. She wouldn't. Okay, so who do I clock in with? You're working here. Scotty asked me, and I'm transferring back. For good? Yes. Is that all right with you? Why wouldn't it be? Don't worry, I'll try not to shoot anyone on the job. Just a hobby, is it? Excuse me, Tracy. Collie's fracture, needs plastering. Sure, Xavier, this is Alice. She's a Yes, we've worked together upstairs. Of course, she's also a very experienced ED nurse and is returning to the pond. Just a happy little duck, with all the other happy little ducklings. Show me your patient. Hi, 
Hi. I'm heading home. I was wondering if there's anything special you'd like for dinner. No, but everyone else wants this fine by me. Well, Mum's out with Fraser and Tanya's in Wellington for a bit, so... All oh, right. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything's fine. As long as I'm not cooking, I'm not complaining. How about a roast? I feel like a treat. Sounds great. See you soon. What's with all the rabbit food? Gerald's eating for four nutrition pack. Nuts for protein, cheese for calcium, bananas for potassium. Is it lunch or a science experiment? <laughs> These babies will come out doing aerobics if Gerald has his way. He's loving you pregnant, isn't he? Mm. He's done all of this research and his dad is now over the moon about it too. He knows. Not how I'm pregnant, just that I am. He's playing granddad. But wasn't that setting him up for a fall? I mean, these babies aren't up for keeps. I know. I just like the support for now. When it's time to tell, we will. What? Not a good idea. No, it's not that. Then what? The bar's not doing too well. Business will pick up. Well, if Kieran doesn't come up with something fast to get the punters back, I'm going to have to find a new job. He's already cancelled my shift for tonight. Good. It's been a while since we've had a night shift of our own. What, too public? No. It's the bar, no money coming in. Okay, we'll talk about it more tonight. Talk about it, then forget about it. And I can help there. Can you now? Mm. If I were you, I'd plan on my sleep in tomorrow morning, because you're going to need it. Well, tell them to get stuff then. Then get back to me. You think people could manage for five minutes? Hmm. Once you're successful, people seek your approval. But you don't. Not anymore, no. Because you don't see me as a success? Now who's fishing for approval? Yes, I would like to think I made my daughter proud. After everything I've been through, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I can see you've worked hard. That's not what I'm asking. Are you? Proud of me? No. You left us with nothing. I've made mistakes which I've paid for in jail. In these last five years, I've worked damn hard to make amends. Can't you see that? Yeah, it's been a meteoric rise. I got lucky with the property the Property boom. market, I know. When did you buy your first hotel? <sighs> 2007. Cassandra Falls. A timeshare apartment I turned around on the Gold Coast. And you amassed all that capital just from buying and selling houses? And a hefty bank loan, yes. No access to your offshore accounts in that time? I couldn't use that money again until last year. Do you want to ring my accountant? No. I want you to tell me the truth. I am, and I would have used it to help you and your mum out. But you didn't, did you? I had to get this Fiji investment in place. I've been on paper rich but cash poor, and Vossi Vossi Islands will change that. And the plan was then mm, to use how it. How convenient. Believe me or not, that was the plan. But I came back early to help you out on this murder rap. Brooke, I'm really trying here. I really want things to be right between us. So do I. I want somebody else. Dr. Moyo is more than capable of treating you. No way. Well, then you're going to be waiting a very long time. Did you hear all that? I did, and it's okay. The hell it is! What's all this? See that guy over there? What's another doctor? Because Xavier isn't the right colour for him. Racist? Hey! I vote he does his own searches without a local. Please, you two, don't make a fuss. I'll sort out another doctor. You don't have to put up with this, you know. We have policies in this place. My policy is to let it go and move on. I suggest you do the same. Thanks for sticking up for me, Alice. Thanks for covering my back, Alice. He's not big on favours. Or manners. So rare in a doctor, I find. Even so. He's one foot here, one foot at home. At least I think that's what the problem is. So pack a bag already. Or unpack properly. But until he decides, I think aloof is the best we're going to get from him. Just like my scrambled eggs, though. So that's always something. Good afternoon. Hey. Is this a permanent fixture or a passing attention-seeking device? Attention-seeking. Ah, uh -huh. what's up? Nothing. Oh, yes, please, Hunter. Let me drag it out of you. Come on, I've got work up to the eyeballs. It's about Morgan. You're still seeing each other? Yes, and I know you don't approve. No, 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 it's your life, your choices. You don't really think that. Let's just get to the problem bit, shall we? It's the, the physical aspect. I'm suddenly not comfortable and it's showing. 
There's always Viagra, although you do seem a little young. No, it's not that. I can... No! All right, all right. What then? It's just, with her expecting, I feel... <sighs> Mate, the... You can still have sex, won't harm the baby. Yeah, I know. How old do you think I am? Well, shall we just get to it then? Yeah, I'm trying. It's the thought of her having someone else's baby inside there. It's sort of freaking me out. Right, it's not yours, so it feels alien. Is that wrong? Well, there's no right or wrong. It's how you feel that matters. Well, what am I meant to do? I can't not have sex with her. But there's more to it, isn't there? What do you mean? It suggests to me that you don't want to have a relationship with Morgan while she's carrying another man's baby. You're only saying that because you don't want me to have a relationship with Morgan. No, Hunter. It's quite clearly what you are telling me. I'm thinking of staying on in New Zealand after all. Best news I've heard all day. I'm still only thinking, but I thought I should let you know. Oh, give me a chance to sweeten my offer. Especially with Ingrid yapping at your heels. I hope uh, people are making you feel at home here. And that's important too, not just the work. Yes, yes. Huh. Someone in particular making you feel at home? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm going to have to get you utterly drunk before I get a name, won't I? There's nothing to tell. Well, just remember, when in Rome... Um... When in this country, do what the other men do. Go for it, mate. Sounds like just another one of his stories to me. Well, I certainly bought it. And I mean, that resort website was pretty convincing. Oh, I'm sure he's got the money now. I just don't buy that he was ever without it. So you think he kept you and your mother penniless on purpose? Yeah, to avoid the creditors. They would have taken everything. Well, then that's smart, isn't it? To put money over your family. To, to secretly live the high life and cut off all contacts so they don't find out. Brooke, jail isn't the high life. After, I mean, five whole years. You really don't trust him, do you? No. Not since my 16th birthday. My, what happened? He threw this big lavish party for me, and the creditors turned up and repossessed everything, including my presents. Ouch. The press were there, and suddenly I was all over the social pages. Daddy's spoiled princess. Yeah, but that's not his fault, though, is it? You don't throw a huge birthday party and invite half the world when you know you're on the brink of ruin. It was humiliating. Maybe he's changed. People can. Well, I'll need more proof before I believe that. Now, how are you going to get it? He told me about this timeshare apartment that he turned into a hotel. It was his first big investment after the houses. Uh, yeah, on the Gold Coast or somewhere. Hmm. I think it's time I made some calls. But you're definitely staying in New Zealand? I think so, yes. So, time to play hardball. This isn't hardball. You've been haranguing the poor man ever since we got here. Because I know Chris will be doing exactly the same. He knows you're staying? Yes. And what little carrot is he dangling? Just that he hopes I'll consider his offer. <laughs> you watch. He'll bait you with all the best surgeries to sit in on, even assist. But trust me, you won't get any once you sign. That's not true. Yes, it is. Chris keeps all the best surgeries for himself. And you don't. Excuse me. She's practically begging you, isn't she? She's being kind. Just another ice water, please. Tap, right? I think Dr. Campbell has got a little thing for you. Thing? What thing? You know, like a crush thing. No. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, this is my father, Nigel Hunter, Hunter Nigel. Uh, nice to meet you. And you? Hi, Ben. Hello. So, are uh, you two? Yes, yes, they are. Now, let's get going. Uh, are you the, um... The Dad, stars? move, please. Oh, we're just popping out for a bevy. Would you care to join us? No, they don't. Don't worry, I'll look after the casserole. Uh, right, well, um... An hour on moderate, then next in the kidney beans, and then another heat for another 20... With the lid off, reduce right down. Dad! Dad's a character. I know, and so sweet. Just like someone else I know. It's the second time today you haven't wanted to kiss me properly. Is it? So we better talk work. Get this sorted out. Well, that's if the problem really is about work. Hunter? Back to this then. Yeah. Not happy with the surrogacy, is that it? No, it's not that. Then what? They're actually in there. Real life human beings, three of them. Is it freaking you out? It's turning me off. 
Oh, right. But I'm still the same person you fell in love with. I know. So just forget about the babies, focus on me. They're in there though, swimming around, listening. They're not interested in you or us or what we're doing. They just want me to feed them, that's all. So lie back and think of Rarotonga. Eh? Well, you could think of England, but who wants to go there? All dark and smoggy by three o'clock. Perhaps you should go. No. Please, if you can't even kiss me, then what are we doing here? Are you sure? Because this isn't going to go away. Excellent choice, madam. You can go perfectly with the duck. Dinner won't be long. Thank you. Well, I hope you're not here for a dinner reservation because we're rushed off our feet. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was hoping things would have picked up by now. Yeah, you and me and the bank manager. You're right, you look a bit frazzled. I did some research on the net and made a few calls to Oz. Dad purchased that timeshare apartment in 2004. When he just got out of jail, no, he said 2007. Cassandra Falls purchased 2004. He's had access to those offshore accounts the whole time. You don't know that for sure? No, he was the world's highest paid labourer. Well, maybe he just got the dates muddled up. There is nothing muddled about this. He's a liar. Once more was appealing. It's like a staff meeting in there. Ingrid can certainly chew an ear off. Yes, she can. It's very interesting, though. So why are you out here? Not that interesting. <laughs> and why are you out here all alone? Delaying the inevitable. What's that? Dinner at home. You don't like your home? Looks like we're both hiding out. <laughs> you don't drink? Sometimes, but um, on a strict budget. How dreary. Let me show you one. Uh, no, it's fine. I um, didn't mean that. Well, really, you should be the one buying me a drink, but you can't. Why? Well, I rescued you from Mr. Racist, and you bit my head off. No. Do I? <laughs> I'm sorry. The people like that I just don't tolerate, and I didn't want to make it worse for everyone with a big scene. Okay, I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> I better get going. Why? When you don't really want to be there. What are my options, as a question? We always have options. Like? Don't go. Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz star as two unlucky in love singletons who get more than they bargained for when they swap houses on our midweek movie The Holiday tomorrow night at 9.35.